Let me turn things over to Dr. Tony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease at NIH. Thank you very much. Dr. Fauci. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. I want to first again, as the entire team feels, uh, to extend our, our sympathies to the family of the individual who expired as a result of this particular virus and this particular disease. But I also want to underscore and emphasize the points that the Secretary made about what is evolving here. You've heard of the terminology community spread. Well, community spread is when you have infection in the community in which you don't have a direct link to a known index case. That uh, really challenges us with something that we need to do and that we do very well. The state and local health authorities, in collaboration with the CDC, would need to identify, isolate, and contact trace. And that's what's going on right here in the country with regard to the particular area that's involved now in Washington. The country as a whole, because we get asked that all the time, still remains at low risk. But when we say that, we want to underscore that this is an evolving situation. And in real time, we will keep you appraised of what is going on just the same way as that we are doing it today. So how do you address this new challenge? There's what we do from within and what we do from without. I hearken back to the original decision that was made by the President of making sure that we knew the, uh, the, the scenario that was going on in China. We prevented travel from China to the United States. If we had not done that, we would have had many, many more cases right here that we would have to be dealing with. So in that spirit, the approach is going to be, as we address this challenge, which is going to evolve by the day and by the week, to do what was just mentioned, to try and keep our citizens from going to places that are active infection and to prevent places where there are active infection to necessarily easily get here. That's the getting it from without to within. From within, we will very aggressively do the kind of public health measures that would hopefully contain this. But as we say this, we need to prepare for further challenges, and we will have them. You will hear about additional cases that will be coming on. You should not be surprised by that, but to realize that that is something that is anticipated when you get community spread. So when you have cases throughout the world, the way we're seeing now, South Korea, Italy, Iran, and places like that, the United States cannot be completely immune to that. The challenge is how we deal with it. And I can assure you all the resources that are necessary are going to be put into dealing with what we see evolving right now. And again, we'd be happy to answer any questions later, but Bob. May a couple of questions for Dr. Fauci about yes, some particulars please. about the virus. Dr. Fauci, what do you now understand about the morbidity? I mean, the Secretary referred to medically fragile people. Are, are you confident that if you're a relatively healthy young person that this will not be fatal for you? Okay. So the N, the number, in our country currently is low. But when you look at the pattern, it seems to be following the experiences that others have had. It's never 100 percent. If you look at the totality of the cases that have been reported, particularly from China, about 75 to 80 percent of them would do really quite well. They would just sort of like a bad flu or, or a cold. You get anywhere from 15 to 20, 20 somewhat percent who are going to go on to require advanced medical care, hospitalization, possibly intensive care. For the most part, the people who get in trouble and ultimately, tragically, would die from this are people who are elderly and or have underlying conditions, heart disease, chronic lung disease, diabetes, obesity because of the difficulty in breathing back and forth. However, every once in a while, you're going to see a one-off. You're going to see a 25-year-old person who looks otherwise well that's going to get seriously ill. But the vast majority of the people who get into trouble do have these underlying conditions. And that's why it confuses people, because they say, well, you just said that, and then there's a report of a 40-year-old physician from China who died. That's going to happen. That happens with influenza. Most of the time, influenza kills people who are advanced age and underlying conditions. 
But you hear in the media every once in a while a college student would get infected and ultimately die. But the majority is in that risk group. I have one more technical question. Have, yes. have you determined whether there are any variants of this virus so that a, a person who may have gotten it and then gotten over it could get it again? No, there, there's no indication that that's going on at all. If this virus acts like other viruses, which I have no reason to believe it won't, once you've gotten infected and recovered, you're not going to get infected with the same virus.